Have you ever heard of the term hoovering? It's not about vacuuming your living room, but a manipulative tactic often employed by narcissists. Picture this. You've managed to break free from a toxic relationship, and then out of nowhere, the person you've left behind attempts to re-enter your life using an array of strategies. This is the essence of hoovering. The narcissist might sprinkle flattery and praise, showering you with unprecedented attention. Or they might express remorse for their past behavior, making grand promises of change. Sometimes they take you on a guilt trip, blaming you for their pain or loneliness. They may also reach out indirectly through mutual friends or social media. It's a complex web of emotional manipulation designed to pull you back into their control. Now you might be wondering, why do narcissists engage in such behavior? There are several reasons why a narcissist might resort to hoovering. At the heart of it all, the narcissist's primary motivation is to regain control. After all, narcissists thrive on the power they hold over others. By hoovering, they aim to re-establish that dominance, pulling you back into their manipulative web. Then, there's the feeding of their narcissistic supply. Narcissists require a constant stream of admiration, attention, and validation, their narcissistic supply. Your response to their hoovering attempts, whether positive or negative, fuels this need, giving them the ego boost they crave. Avoiding loneliness is another reason they might hoover. Despite their seemingly confident exterior, many narcissists are deeply afraid of being alone. They may reach out to you not out of genuine affection or remorse, but simply to stave off their own loneliness. And lastly, it could be about punishing you. It may seem counterintuitive, but some narcissists hoover with the intent of causing you pain. They may blame you for the relationship's end, and hoovering allows them to get their revenge, making you feel guilty or regretful for leaving them. Understanding these motivations can help us recognize when we're being hoovered. But how exactly can we spot the signs? Recognizing the signs of hoovering is crucial to protect ourselves from falling into the narcissist's trap. It's like being handed the rulebook to a game that's been played at your expense. Knowledge is indeed power, and in this case, it's your shield. The first sign to look out for is unwanted contact. Despite your efforts to distance yourself, the narcissist may attempt to re-establish contact through various means. This could be direct, like calls and messages, or indirect, through mutual friends or even social media. It's like a relentless wave, crashing against your defenses. Then, there's the sudden change in behavior. Remember the cold, neglectful person from the past? Well, now they've transformed into an overly friendly, attentive individual. It's like the sun coming out after a long storm. But don't be fooled. This is merely the calm before another storm. The next red flag is the grandeur of their empty promises. The narcissist might apologize profusely, promising to change their ways. They might promise never to hurt you again, to be better. But remember, these are just words. Words that are as hollow as the promises they represent. Guilt trips and emotional manipulation are also part of the narcissist's arsenal. They might try to make you feel responsible for their pain, their loneliness. Remember, it is not your job to fix them. You are not the cause of their pain. Lastly, there's fake sincerity. The narcissist might express remorse or regret, but it often feels scripted, rehearsed. It's as if they're reading from a script, hitting all the right notes, but lacking in genuine emotion. It's a performance designed to reel you back in. Identifying these signs is the first step towards protecting ourselves. But what else can we do? There are several strategies you can employ to protect yourself from hoovering. One of the most effective methods is to cut off all contact. Create a barrier between yourself and the narcissist by blocking them on social media, deleting their number, and avoiding places they frequent. This might seem harsh, but it's necessary to prevent their manipulation from seeping back into your life. Another crucial step is to not believe their promises. Narcissists are masters of deception, often making grand gestures and offering heartfelt apologies to lure you back in. Maintain a healthy skepticism and remind yourself of their past behavior. Their words are often empty attempts to manipulate you, not genuine expressions of remorse or commitment to change. It's also important to focus on your own well-being. Healing from narcissistic abuse takes time and self-care. Engage in activities that bring you joy, help you relax, and improve your mental health. This could be anything from reading a good book, taking long walks, or practicing mindfulness. Prioritize your needs and emotions over the narcissist's demands and guilt trips. Don't underestimate the power of support, either. Share your experiences with trusted friends or family members, or consider seeking professional help from a therapist who understands narcissistic abuse. They can provide valuable insights, coping strategies, and the validation you might need during this challenging time. Setting boundaries is another key aspect of protecting yourself. 
clearly communicate your limits and stick to them, regardless of the narcissist's reactions. You are not responsible for their emotions or actions, and it's okay to say no. Lastly, educate yourself about narcissistic personality disorder. Understanding the intricacies of this condition can help you recognize the tactics used by narcissists and why they behave the way they do. There are many resources available, including books, websites, and support groups that can provide valuable knowledge and advice. Remember, understanding hoovering and the tactics used by narcissists is key to breaking free from their toxic cycle. You have the strength and the tools to protect yourself and move forward. Stay vigilant, prioritize your well-being, and don't let anyone compromise your peace of mind. In summary, hoovering is a manipulative tactic used by narcissists to regain control and exploit their victims. This cunning strategy involves flattery, apologies, guilt trips, and emotional appeals. Narcissists hoover to regain control, feed their ego, avoid loneliness, or even to punish you. Stay alert to signs like unwanted contact, sudden changes in behavior, empty promises, and insincere remorse. Protect yourself by cutting off all contact, disbelieving their promises, focusing on your well-being, seeking support, and setting boundaries. By staying vigilant and prioritizing your well-being, you can protect yourself from being drawn back into their toxic cycle. Stay strong, and remember, you're not alone in this.